Dreallday.com. What's going on, everybody? Dre Ball with DreAllDay.com. This video here is an answer to a question I get in general very often when players ask me, "Hey, I'm filling a blank, whatever age they are." They say, "Is it too late for me to become good at basketball? Is it too late for me to play college basketball?" It's a two way for me to possibly make it to the NBA because I just started playing basketball and I'm 16 or I just started playing and I'm 14 or now I'm 17 or I'm 22. Is it too late to go overseas or I'm 25? Is it too late to play in college? So everyone has a fill in the blank age. I've heard it from people who are 10 years old. I've heard it from people who are 30 years old. They all ask me the same thing. Is it too late? The general answer to the question is this. No, it is not too late for you to do anything. Now, let me go in a little bit more detail with this. It's not too late for you to do anything until, until, or unless you decide that it's too late. Any two people, let's take the hypothetical situation. Is it possible? I started playing basketball at age 14. I'm not asking, is that possible? I'm telling the story. I started playing basketball at age 14. Is it true? Hypothetically, I know you don't have to know these people. Is it true that there are other people who at the same time that I was 14, they started playing basketball too, and they gave up at some point before they even got to age 21 or even before they got to age 18 because they figured it was too late for them to become good? Is that true? Is it true that there are 14-year-olds playing right now who will give up before they turn 18? Is it true that somebody watching this video right now gave up on playing basketball because they started at age 14 or younger even and gave up before they got to age 21 because they figured it was too late for them to get good. Do you, do you think, just a, a guess, a hypothetical, not a hypothetical guess, but a, a hypothesis, do you think that's possible? Probably so. So there is no set number. There's no set number that says, all right, if you start playing at this age or later, you can't play in college. There is no number that guarantees that. There's no number that says if you start at this age or later, you can't play in the NBA. There are guys who are playing in the pros, D-League overseas, NBA, who start playing basketball when they were 17, 18 years old. I don't know who all of them are, but I read these stories. I hear these stories often. That not everybody plays basketball all these years. Hakeem Olajuwon, NBA Hall of Famer, he didn't start playing basketball until late or what most of us would consider late, quote unquote, because he was playing soccer, he was playing a different sport. Tim Duncan is another guy. Tim Duncan was a swimmer. He's from the Virgin Islands, the US Virgin Islands. He was a swimmer. The only reason he started playing basketball is because there was a hurricane that came through his hometown and destroyed the swimming pool in his neighborhood. So he couldn't swim competitively anymore because he didn't have a pool. So he started playing basketball and we know what the rest of that story is. So those are two great examples, two of the greatest players of all. Those are two of the top 50 players in the history of the sport of basketball. If they can start late, then you can start late. Does it mean you're going to become a Hall of Famer? No, but could it mean you get a college scholarship or go play ball in college or maybe go play overseas for a year or two or 10 years or 15 years? Is it possible? Absolutely. So there's never a point in life in anything. And I don't care if we're talking about being an author, I don't care if we're talking about being a school teacher, being a rapper, being a basketball player. There's never a point in life where you reach a number. A number is just a number. Age ain't nothing but a number. There's a singer named Maria who passed away years ago who had a, a song or an album called Age Ain't Nothing But A Number. There's no number that guarantees you can't do anything. And there's no number that guarantees you can. Just because you're 14 years old, you've been playing ball since you was five, doesn't guarantee you're going to become a pro. You might not even make it to college. And just because you're 14 and you start playing when you were 13 <coughs> doesn't mean that you can't. You decide when it's too late. Each one of you who's watching this video, no one else decides for you when anything's too late for you to do. You decide what's too late for you. You don't decide it for nobody else. Nobody else decides it for you. And you don't have to answer or Think about whether it's too late for somebody else to do anything. You need to think about whether it's too late for you to do anything. And don't think because you're a certain age, whatever you consider young, that it guarantees you're going to have success in the future because it doesn't. Because guess what? I've been the ages that a lot of you are and I heard a lot of people around me talking that, oh, I'm going to do this and that when I get to that age. And most of them didn't do it. 
because they got so much satisfaction from talking about it that they didn't have to take the action. They got more satisfaction from talking that took away their drive to actually go make it happen. So I would really suggest you not talk about what you're going to do in the future, but actually save up that energy and go do it. So to answer the question in general, is it ever too late to make it in basketball? Because this is a question I get a lot from basketball players. No, it's never too late. The only time it becomes too late to make it in basketball is when you decide that it's too late for you. It's not about what nobody else did. It's not about this guy. He started at 17. It was too late for him. That's him. That's not true. That's what that guy did. His life ain't your life. And if it's another guy who was 14 and he made it and he became the greatest player in history, that don't mean that's what you're going to become. His situation is his situation. Yours is yours. You got to focus on what you can do. Not what anybody else did, not what anybody else might do or what you want to talk about you might do. What are you going to do? What are you going to do right now to get yourself closer to where you want to go? And nobody else decides that for you. You decide it for yourself. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you follow all my top content up here. Follow me on all your favorite social networks right over here and make sure you are subscribed to catch all the new content I put on on this channel every single day. Work on your game.